Okay, in this screencast, I'm going to walk you through how to do a standard deviation with this data set right here. And to do that, first we're going to go through the formula for standard deviation, and I'm just going to write it out here. So S is standard deviation, and it looks pretty complicated, but it's really not that bad. And uh, we have a a big square root there. This little e stands for the sum of, in parentheses, we have x minus x bar squared. x bar happens to be the average. And over that, under beneath that, we have n minus 1. n is the number of samples in this data set. So n is equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, to get the average, we need to add up the total from this data set. So using my calculator here, 0 plus 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 equals, all right, so the sum is 18, and then I need to divide that by the total number of samples, which is 5. So x bar is 18. The answer 18 divided by 5 is 3.6. All right, so we're going to start getting this part of the equation set up. This is the one that takes the most work. So I'm going to start with my first one. My first x is going to be the first um, number from the data set, which is 0. So 0 minus the average, which is 3.6, is a negative 3.6, and we need to square that. So 0 minus 3.6. I know this is very simple math, but I'm just putting it into the calculator. Um, for demonstration purposes, and then I'm going to hit the little x squared button to square this, which is 12.96. The next data number here is 2, so I'm going to do this again. 2 minus 3.6 equals 2 minus 3.6 equals a negative 1.6, and I'm going to square that by hitting the little x squared button, and I get 2.56. The next data point is 4. 4 minus 3.6 is equivalent to 0 0.4, and we will square that. x squared, 0 0.16. Next data point is 5 minus 3.6. goes 1.4 squared. x squared is 1.96. And then the last data point right here is 7. 7 minus 3.6. 7 minus 3.6 is 3.4 squared. squared. 11.56. Now I'm going to actually get um, <clears throat> the value of this number now, the sum of all of these calculations, which I just did right here. So using my calculator over here, I have 12.96 plus 2.56 plus 0.16 plus 1.96 plus 11.56, and I get 29.2. All right, so um, I want to plug this number here into the equation in the right spot. So first of all, I want to talk about the bottom. n equals 5, so 5 minus 1 is going to equal 4. So when we plug this into the equation, the top number is 29.2. And the bottom number, n minus 1 is 5 minus 1 is 4. That is a very big square root sign. 
So let's just, and that is equal to the standard deviation. So let's just plug this into the equation. 29.2 divided by 4 equals 7.3. So s equals square root of 7.3. And on the calculator, if I hit the square root sign, my standard deviation in this case is 7, 2.7. Zero. So that is the standard deviation for this number. And that is how you calculate the standard deviation for this specific data set, which includes five numbers.